that's a king and a queen look at this brother we're gonna be lords of the world that's stupid hey that's my deck anyway what are you doing these are my cards no mine no mine no mine hey what are you kids doing in there my personal time you little brats ow i think i got caught let that be a lesson to you well the next day i went to school just like any other day all the teachers hate me but i don't care i don't like them either the other kids hate me but that's because i'm tough and because i bit some of them but mr c is cool i even told him a secret once hey guess what mr c me and my brother are running away we're running away because our mom's an alcoholic and she hates us don't do that oh well, i'm just kidding i was just making a joke good but of course we really didn't want him running away we went up sleeping in a bridge where it was really cold. Hey, look, brother, I picked the two of hearts. Hearts is a lucky card. Are you sure no one's gonna find us here? I have a knife anyway. That lasted for a couple days. We slept under the bridge, but then the neighbors saw us, and, and they ran away scared because they saw my brother with a knife. But then they called the cops on us, and we were really scared. My brother came up, he was like, I'm gonna beat you up, I'm gonna beat you up. And the cops said, no, don't do that, you're gonna get in trouble, so. He didn't, and the cops took us away and put us into a group home. But the group home kind of sucked, and everyone was always fighting and yelling. And my brother was always getting into fight, and I, I learned to be tough too. <laughs> and after a while, we didn't hang out in the group home anymore because everybody was getting into fights and making you get in fights. So it's in the alley, and, and I like to go through the trash and look for Glamour Magazine. I dreamed of like going to Hollywood when and then I wait for my brother and go home right before curfew and then we go to sleep together to be safe and I figured I would get married when I was 25 and move to a little cottage like Snow White or something I mean that's what the cards always said like I would pull the queen like the queen of hearts or, but then one day they came and they said to talk to us and they said it was important hello kids please come with us now you're not in trouble but but we're going to have to separate you two. I didn't know what to say to them, and I lived with my brother all my life, and I was really scared. I was alone in the room with this guy with, like, big glasses. And I told him not to take my brother away, but they didn't listen. They made me move into another home, a nice lady's home. She liked to dress me up, and uh, it was like I was her doll, and she really scared me. She smelled really bad, and so I would just cuss her out, and then I would hang out at McDonald's and the mall, and just come home late and cuss her out again and I don't know I guess she was kind of nice but she was always telling me to go to church and I was glad to be free of that bitch and I was 16 and I had to find a job which was kind of hard because my brain was broken that's why I wound up um selling drugs well I got to know the police and they set me up with a caseworker because I got arrested that was pretty much the bottom of the barrel for me there I was addicted to drugs, and when I found out my brother had died, I hadn't talked to him in years. And I was just angry all the time. I couldn't even cry. Angry everybody. And I just wanted to do drugs and say, fuck it all. Hello there. What the fuck? What are you, do you want drugs? I was just saying hello. Oh, fuck you. I know the system's not gonna help me out. Just gotta do it all myself, I guess. Life sucks, life sucks, life sucks. I know I don't want to be like my mom, but I don't know. What are people supposed to do?